Hey, you guys, it's been a while. I think the last time I did a video was in April, two days before I moved. But I just wanted to hop on real quick and talk about a little shadow work and what's been going on with me the last 45 days. And then I'll do another video later. So, Alexa, what time is it? It's 3.48 a.m. Alexa, what day is it? Today is Sunday, August 8th. Okay, it's August 8th, so the new moon is in Leo. So this lion is about to roar, so hold on, it's gonna come real quick and real fast. So, my nephew passed away, and my cousin who died four years ago, her mom had eight strokes back to back, and she passed away. Oh, and I turned 41 two weeks ago. I really wasn't. I'm thankful to be here, but. So my shadow has been like, what is that in the corner? Anyway, my shadow has been really, really dark. So my nephew died at 37. This is my oldest nephew. The only one of my daddy's grandkids that he was alive to see. When my nephew was, I think my nephew was one, because I was four when my dad died. My dad turned 37 in January and died in March. And my nephew had just turned 37. So, your light versus your dark in the middle of a crisis. I get a call from my niece and I had worked and I just didn't feel like being bothered with my niece that morning. And she texted me and said, it's about Marcus. And she called me back. So I answered the phone and she said, TT, Marcus is gone. I said, gone where? I needed that, okay. I said, I'll call you back. So I got up, I sat on the side of the bed and I gathered myself. I called her back, I said, okay. Diana Pooh, tell me what you just said. T.T. Marcus is gone. I just saw Marcus like a month ago, what you talking about? He was at the house, he couldn't breathe, we gave him a fan. We tried to get him to the hospital, we got him to the hospital. They tried to revive him six times and he's gone. I said again, but what happened? So let's be clear and transparent because when you're working through your shadow, you have to go through the truth. My nephew had just got out of jail, maybe four months ago. He liked to do cocaine, but so does my niece's baby daddies who was doing the cocaine with him. So for them to judge him and not their baby daddies, they can burn for that. So she said he had just found out about a month ago that he had congestive heart failure. I said, so why y'all didn't call me? Then, so that meant within the last month since I saw him, he was diagnosed. And I'm still wrapping my mind around this because I'm looking at the synchronicities. My dad died at 37. My dad's first grandchild died at 37. his oldest daughter's oldest son. My nephew was in heart failure. My grandfather, my dad's dad, had heart failure at the end. So I'm looking at the synchronicities and I'm still wrapping my mind around this. 
I haven't seen my sister since 2000, maybe 16. She got sick and I took care of her. And when she got well, she wanted to raise a little hell, so she had to exit my home. So, but I did help her and I helped her get on her feet. But, and me and my oldest sister are 13 years apart, so yeah. So, I go through the process. I get the address from my niece of where my sister is. I pull up. I see my two youngest nieces on the porch. I say, hey, where's Terry at? This Terry right there. I see my sister looking like a shell of herself. So, I ask her what happened. I don't even think I said hello. Because my sister's oldest three kids have always been with me. So, her second born, he died in 2007, and she didn't tell our side of the family. So, anyway, I've always had dreams about death. I said that in my first shadow work video. That's the reason my mom's mom didn't like me because she said I had the dreams. So, as I got older, when I would have dreams, because I never see how a person is going to die, I just see I'm at a funeral and somebody's in the casket. Somebody tell me the name and I wake up. And usually by the time I wake up, I use it the next day. That person is dead. The first dream, like I said, was my dad. I had been to my daddy's grave. And I just didn't feel right. Because I had a dream about somebody dying in Madison, but they were on my mom's side. Which my mom's side is not from Madison County. My dad's whole entire family, we have plot and land. Well, I have the land in Madison now. So, I called my brother because the dream didn't make sense. But when my niece told me my nephew was gone, I felt life and energy leave my body. So, my sister said pretty much what my niece said, which didn't make sense to me. So, what do we need? They told me what was needed. I did it. I probably overcompensated because, hey, my sister was being a bitch when my other nephew died. So this is the oldest one. Four years apart we are. When he needed something, I was teaching. When he wanted to talk about life or raise hell with me about something, I was rosy. And when he would fit, be finished raising hell, he'd be like, but T.T., you know you steal my baby, right? And I'd be like, Marcus, go to hell. So I did what needed to be done financially. To cure it with the funeral home and all of the things. So the day I went to view my nephew, I went to look at him. He he oh my God, he looked great. Salt and pepper was starting to come in his hair. And it was just me and my daughter. And I didn't want anybody to see me cry or be weak. So when I walked in there, thankfully it was just us. I looked at him. I said, Marcus, you laying there like this shit is funny. Wake up and talk to me. Because he had this grin on his face. Like, you know what? I am done with all of this. You know? So. Yeah, he didn't wake up and talk to me. So later, I investigated everything that they said. Cause you did call your baby sister. You called Mark Zanti. Mark Zanti is a medical social worker. Mm. Hold up. This try don't want to leave my lips. So my nephew didn't have any drugs in his system, alcohol in his system. None of it. So I'm asking now, after the fact, why when Marcus got diagnosed, none of y'all didn't call me? Because when he wouldn't listen to them, he would listen to me. Because after a while, I'm not going to play with you. Mm -mm. I'm going to have you considered a vulnerable adult, and we're going to get you some treatment. You'll be mad at me, but you'll be alive. My mama fell back last year. And I called to check on her, and she told me she was going to go to sleep and hung up on me. When I got over to her house with them EMTs, she was so pissed. 
and they made her go to the hospital. I'm looking at the time because I don't want this to be too long. She was mad. She's still here though. So, my nephew lived a tortured soul almost. You get what I'm saying? He never thought he was good enough. He always felt like people were judging him, which they were. But he used to try to tell him all the time, hey, I know it's hard, but to hell without it, you know? Nobody has a hell or heaven to put you into. And if you don't believe in hell and heaven, let me tell you, everything that's born of a woman must surely die. And that's a fact. But you know what? My nephew look, left here looking good. And his TT was there with him to the end because that's what I do. But inside of me, I wanted to scream. I wanted to tell my sister a lot of things, but I didn't. At that funeral home, her sister on her mom's side came in maybe 20 minutes after I was there with my daughter. And she said, I remember when Marcus was little. And after they moved back with us, after your daddy died, don't say nothing about my daddy. I, I will feel ass. I'm real sensitive about my daddy and my granddaddy. It's like, I will. Okay. So, I'm just sitting there and my daughter's like, Mama. I said, I'm good. And she said, I dropped him. Because I didn't want him to be the baby in the house. I wanted to be. And I looked over at my sister. And she looked at me like, no, 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 don't do that. So I looked at her sister and I said, are you joking? She said, mm-mm. I said, okay. <laughs> okay. My nephew is right there in a casket. And that's what you say. But you're 42, 43, something like that. She's older than me. And you can't have kids. The universe has served you kindly, you barren bitch. I dare you say that. And I dare you say that while we sitting here in front of my nephew's casket. It's amazing how people come around and say this and that and the other. But what y'all did for him? When can y'all say the last time y'all talked to him or encouraged him or just sit there and let him yell when he was talking? My nephew used drugs. They said it. My nephew told me he did drugs. I never saw my nephew with any powdered donuts. He never did it around me. And I, I was always told, it ain't what you do, it's how you do it. I'm drinking tequila right now. People may look at this and see my eyes look red or whatever. What I'm drinking right here, let's just put the camera on it. Oh, is, that's it. I wanted to pop her sister. But I wanted this time when somebody died because I had two other relatives to die in the past. Sorry, I'm tapping on the table. It caused my nerves. That I caught charges. You know, and I, I didn't want to go, I didn't want to go to court for assault. I just moved, you know. In the next video I do, it'll be upstairs. I just don't feel like walking upstairs and I just want to be transparent. I'm in my sleeping clothes. This ain't no makeup. It's just a little lipstick that's about to be whoa off. It is what it is. I've accepted that I can be dark and I can be light and it's a time and it's a place for everything. It is. My nephew don't got to deal with their bullshit no more. None of them. 
that my niece that called me, I found out she lied about something. And I'm not saying this right here like it's a good thing that I did. But hey, I was in my dark. She told a lie and I had to go and correct her. I asked her for her phone. I said, pass me your phone, Dinabu. I said, so you let your man put your hand on my, put his hand on my nephew right before he died? Pass me that phone. I pissed on her phone, and then I threw it back at her. Don't ever play with me. And I looked at her man. Marcus is gone. And I'm not dynasty. Touch me. Say something to me. And you just saw what I did to my next phone. Nobody has the right to tell you when, how, or what to do, when to grieve, when to forgive, and how to get over anything. You take your time. You go through your process. It is what it is. You're going to cry. Some days you're going to laugh. And some days you ain't going to know what to do. I am a hospice social worker. And I'm the director of two nonprofits at this point. And I'm working on my doctoral degree. Some time off of it. My blood pressure has been up. The doctor wanted to change my medicine because my heart rate dropped last week. My medicine don't need to be changed. I'm grieving. I've lost two people. My nephew was 37. Yeah, it's hard that my cousin's mom is gone. She was 63. My nephew was 37 years old. And this could have been avoided. God damn it. It could have been avoided. But love yourself and you trust yourself. And it's okay to have dark thoughts sometimes. But you'll be better. You'll get better. I've had people that I was in relationship with that my niece posted stuff on Facebook. They come call me, Rosa, why you didn't call and tell me Marcus was gone? I didn't feel the need to. Because I don't want any sympathy. I'm going to be all right. <laughs> it hurt like a bitch, though. It hurt like a whole bitch. But he not here. He not here dealing with people's judgments. Don't let anybody judge you. If you don't get anything else from this, because this new moon in Leo... My lion is going to roar like a son of a bitch. Understand? And I'm going to begin a new cycle. And I'm going to let the old cycle go. Because if I don't, I'm going to hurt somebody. So. Everything takes time. Feel how you need to feel. Sometimes you love in light. And just like right now, I'm not loving light. I'm hell, fire, and brimstone. And I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Because I'm in the privacy of my home. Because I got so angry the other day. I walked down the stairs to get something. But I stubbed my toe. I went to yelling and pictures with the father from the wall. You can see right here in my kitchen, right? <laughs> I was mad. I didn't knock it down. I was just yelling. Sometimes you need to yell. You got to release. You have to release. And don't let anybody tell you what you need to do and how you need to do it. And don't look at somebody else's process and make it your process. This is your journey. This is your life. And I love anybody who's watching this for real. Because I'm in my home, transparent. I'm not going to edit a damn thing. I don't have on any makeup. My wig probably ain't on right. It may look a little frizzy, but I'm honest. To thy own self, be true. Be true to your shadow. Be true to your higher self. Be true to your inner self. Don't tell yourself lies. Don't let anybody else tell you any lies. Trust yourself. 
believe in yourself and your own power and your own intuition. I'm going to rest in my divine feminine energy because I'm keeping my words off people because my words are powerful. They really are. These dreams, they are what they are. They're never wrong. Shout out to anybody who texts me because I'm not on Facebook. And I'm not one to post saying, hey, somebody's dead. Hey, give me a like. Not gonna walk around here with a rest in peace t-shirt. I think they're dumb. But it is what it is. Be true to yourself. And sometimes you have to look out for your own family. Because they will lie. They will lie. But I can sit here and rest in this and know that I have never had a loved one to leave here without me. And I was there until the end. My nephew had have took him to as far as I can take him. He's here. <laughs> and shit hit my head sometimes too. But I got my granddad and my daddy in the front. And it is what it is. Out of yourself, out of your ancestors. This video has been probably too long. Excuse my nasalness, if that's a word. Pollen content is high. I will be back with something else whenever I feel like doing a video from upstairs from my computer. So, work this new moon. Change your cycle. Change your circle. Because you have the power to do it. And if somebody don't like your process, fuck them and their mother too. Okay? Because y'all have what life to live. And I ain't talking about the soap opera. But I look pretty. Look at my cheeks. Look at how rosy like Santa Claus. And it's just allergies. Bye, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Love yourself. Give yourself time. Everything will work out. Just wait and see.